My name is Bob Hears, and I'm farming uh, in Steele County, which is in southern Minnesota, uh, just outside of the town of Oatana. Uh, this farm has been in my family since the early 50s. It was founded by my father and my grandfather. Um, I took the farm over, or started farming in 1978 after I returned from college. Uh, we presently own about 1,000 acres, and we rent another 1,100. So uh, Directly behind me uh, on this ridge, out here there will be uh, wind turbines probably spaced one every hundred acres. It will be a pretty generous setback from all, uh, all the homes and all the roads and any wetlands and any sensitive areas. But we hope to average about one tower per hundred acres. Uh, there's much more talk and much more acceptance of wind energy. And so I, I met with a developer that I've been working with, and we're hoping to develop a 35 megawatt wind farm on our property and some of my adjoining neighbors. And we've had just uh, remarkable success in working with the neighbors. I think, uh, I think the higher energy prices, well, we all have very vivid memories of last year's spike in oil prices, and electrical rates keep going up and up and up. And we're much more aware now of, you know, of going green is, is, the, is the catchphrase, the buzzword. And you're not going to get anything greener than wind energy. So um, everybody is, is just very positive. It, it appealed to me on two levels. First, as a businessman, I'm always looking to increase revenue. I have two uh, sons that want to come back and farm, so we're always constantly looking for, for new opportunity. Uh, wind generation is, I think, is going to be a good fit for us. It's going to require a minimum if of no, or no investment for us, and we're basically going to harvest the wind that grows across our land. So I see that as an excellent opportunity. As a, the bigger picture, as a citizen of this country, I see it as, as a direction we need to move. We need wind energy. I don't know. It's not the answer to all our energy problems, but it's going to be a big part of it. So if we're going to meet our goals of 25%, uh, meet our electricity, electricity needs of 25% by 2025, uh, wind energy can be a big part of that. Yeah, I, I think we need leadership from on the national level. Minnesota has been very good in promoting all the renewable resources that, that us farmers produce, uh, ethanol and soy diesel and now wind, but we need help on the national level to keep these projects moving forward.